Hello friends and welcome to this video. In this video we will learn about Java encapsulation. In interviews we are often asked what is Java encapsulation and how it is implemented in Java. So let's see and find out the answers for these questions. Encapsulation is one of the fundamental object oriented programming concepts the other being inheritance polymorphism and abstraction in java encapsulation can be defined as wrapping the data and code acting on the data together as a single unit in encapsulation the variables of a class will be hidden from other classes and can be accessed only through the methods of their current classes that is, the variable of a class cannot be accessed from any class outside the class to which it belongs. So, the only way to access those variables is to create a method which we can manipulate and access those variables. This is also known as data hiding. Let's see the encapsulation example. Encapsulation can a uh, real world example is capsule. In capsule, we have several medicines which are wrapped up as a single unit. In Java, encapsulation example is a simple Java bean or a POJO object. So, friends, now let's start coding and let's see how encapsulation can be implemented in Java. This is my workspace. Let's create one package. So, this is our package, and now we'll start with creating a Java bean. So, we'll create a class let's name it as employee so this is our class employee um, now let's define the variables we will take the general attributes of employee as the variables like id name age now as we have studied in uh, the previous slides we have to make these variables not accessible from other classes so for that we will define them as a private id then private string name then we have private int h So these are the three variables we will be taking. Now we will create getter and setter of these variables. Select all the three variables and click on OK. So here are the getters and setters of these variables. This is our Java Bean. In Java Bean, we have variables which are private and then have getter and setter to access those variables. This is what we have read in the past. This is how the encapsulation is implemented in Java. We define variables such that it cannot be accessed from outside class and then can be accessed only through the methods which act on these variables. Now these methods are getter and setters, which we can use to get and set values of the variable. So now we will create uh, another class with a main method actually to access our employee data. Let's name this class as test app. We will have a main method in this class. 
now to start we will create employee object Let's just copy it. Set ID as ninety. Set name as John. And now set ages 27 so this is how we have set the Now we have saved it. Now let's just, just print the data which we have saved. First ID, we'll use the getter method of ID then let's print name and at last we will print the H let's execute it run as java application so this is our output 90 john 27 so friend this is how we implement encapsulation in uh, java by java bean we create a java bean in which we set the variables as a private and then access these variables to get and set our policy i hope this will make you understand encapsulation easily. If you like our video, please subscribe our channel and share the videos with your friends. Thank you.